But I'm fairly well, certain. Well, we didn't see it. We didn't for sure. But I, 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 I'm pretty certain we didn't see it in best of ones at all. But I, I, of course, someone will prove me wrong. He's got a better memory than I do. Hunter, he needs to get better aim in this situation because he's being run down. Yabby and Zyphon take down both the cousins. The Kovacs are gone. Nexa is still alive, though, and he'll take out Nico Daz. I will make sure I say Nico Daz as much as possible because Nico and Nico are in the server. There's, what, four Nikos now in Counter-Strike. Nexa's still holding his own. Yabby's turned back around. Remember, the bomb's been planted on the site this whole time because obviously they're working backwards through cave. The problem is, by going backwards to try to take out Nexa, they've given up position, and Zyphon's away from this. Omnix on it. He's got a kit. This is done. That's defused. Well, oh, it's not. He got off it. I thought he had that. I think he could have stuck that and got away with it, but he secures it with a kill anyway. Well, it's way easier this time, too. With two kills, they know they've kind of thinned out the defense. They're going to have to spread, and it's going to be a little bit weak, so they know they're going to have real estate that they're able to take. There goes Nico. Next is still waiting at Woods. He'll find one. Needs to be aware of this rap, though. Cave's the position. And they've already come from Cave, which means the rap doesn't matter. Now they actually can cut off rotations with that position going through. Roy does that perfectly. And top stairs smoke. Mid control for Copenhagen Flames. Hooksy's going to lead the way with that MAC-10. He gets dinked up. They're going to come right through it, but the MAC-10 does work. AK-47's at range and support as well. Perfect job baiting the MAC-10 in mid. And Copenhagen Flames is going to get an easy win. Nexa still just holding it out. Doesn't quite catch the backside of Nikodaz. Goes down as forward, but that means his backside's exposed, and they smoked off Amadek. Now we get to see this boost, though. Rifle boost. Roy's forward enough, though, and he's going to go through. Good play from Nexa. Reads what the smoke reads and sees just on his peripheral. Yabby gets boosted up, so they don't get the shot toward the pillar, that easy lineup I've talked about, but they do still manage to get two kills and leave it at a four-on-two post plan. Yeah, G2 bailed out, I think, by the aggressive philosophy of that play from Copenhagen. Flames, and Jax is taken down. He gets a little bit of damage. They've got to take care of Zyphon. They know where Hooksy is as well. Exactly that. Even though he goes down, he tells them he's away from the bomb site, and he tries to switch over to the AK, knowing he's going to be run down, but it let them take the site with more confidence. Find the bomb, sir. And get the kits. This is something you can see from a highly experienced player. This time he'll make no mistake because Hunter's going to rotate. He'll take him down. That was the mid. And I was about to say that's the other answer. If Nico's con not confident here, get someone in middle so you can at least support the box position. But Javi won one ups them now. And in fact, his second kill in the round. Nico and Nexa need to do something because Jax is in such a weird position. He knows he's getting pushed. He knows one's in CT spawn that took out Hunter, that took out the rotation. So he's got to push towards Donut to find some safety from that flank, but still aware of the possibility. And Yabby has basically rotated his entire team around to join up with them, and that's a difficult battle for Jax. Hooksy with the kill. Bomb goes over toward B. They saw Hunter rotating back over, and they knew that he was the mid player, and Nico was still on the B side. Jax looking for something, looking for anything. Yabby waiting over by Temple as well. And G2 running out of utility. They're looking for a peek, and that's the kill that's going to signify it and move him forward. The shot, though, even though it's suppressed. Zyphon knows they're up close. He gets two in that position, but trades are successful. Good retake from G2. And I don't fault Copenhagen Flames for using... I mean, you have to rotate, but two to go above that smoke, knowing that they have been taking middle. And even if they go for that fast A, they still hold a very powerful position to rotate back around. They need to hit the shots from middle. Can't do it. AWP reveals itself. Nexa does get Hooksy, and Bomb, I think, was just dropped. Was it not? Hunter taking down P. So they'll swap it over because Amanuk is much lower down. Or rather, excuse me, Nexa is much lower down on the HP, but they walk directly toward Roy, and he finds two. Amanuk only gets the one in response, and he switches over to the AWP to go on a one-on-one, -on -one, but Yabby's only on six. Smoking immediately on it, has a kit, doesn't know he's far enough away. He'll hear, oh, he should have heard him now with murder. He knows he can go for it, but yeah, he's got the lineup through the wall, and down he... So waiting it out. Flash, bounce. Oh, it's actually a good flash, but not if his teammate goes down before it blooms. Pops, I should say, and can't get the shot off. And then what a shot as well to follow up on the repeat. Leaves it in a three-on-three, three, but Bomb is now planted. And the rotations are all coming from CT spawn. Hunter's the first and closest, but he's got flames at his feet. Wants to swing out before a Molotov or can be put in that position again. Or rather a smoke that Roy has at this point in time. Nico Daz takes down Nico. Siphon, Hunter gone. Next is next in line. This should be around for Copenhagen. He at least cleans up on the first kill that went against them. But with the bomb planted as it is and them rotating back around in the space, which he previously occupied, should be straightforward. Flash out. Gun barrel spotted. He knows where they both are now based on that trajectory. Does he? Oh, he can't. He can't hold it. Time's gone. If he had held it there, perhaps, maybe, but no kits. It wouldn't have happened. And he's dead anyway. Dead now, of course. Dead now, of course.
Sentry's potentially coming into this. Maybe they could have blown us away on that, but uh, it certainly isn't a traditional way to go about business coming into a major. Shadow shows that gives Nikodaz the chance to fire instead, but he's very inaccurate trying to track down Nexa, who swings out wide with the USPs and gets some support from his teammates. Meanwhile, though, the wrap and the flank from the cave, and they control and pinch the ramp. Job done, eight to four. I smoke. Nexa's gonna have to do good work individually before his teammate gets back, before Nico can come help. Blinded, there's the first frag, already wrapping upon him, and Nico did get back just in time. Yabby finds a trade, and Nico's just gonna survive and wait for his teammates to show up. Shot from Nico. Manages to catch out Yabby running through clotheslines, but now he can swing. Hooksy hasn't made his way to the site. Has to be a little bit aware of what's still behind, but shots through the wall, tag him up. That confirms he's behind the pillar, and the one-two punch from the Kovacs pays off as Hunter comes back out to avenge his lost cousin. It's Nico Daz that goes down, and we get to 8-5. Oh, ooh, and the timing is horrible. Zyphon had just gotten past his angle, and Hooksy showed up. Amadek, no, oh, no scope, wow. and almost a third, almost recovered. Technically a quick scope based on what the uh, the UI says, but yeah, that's pretty much as no scope as it gets. He didn't have any vision after clicking in. Next is going to take down Zyphon. That was a pretty stunning display from Almanac, but it's still not done yet. It might be. Hunter walks out. They had no idea to check backside of Donut as he comes around quite so easily, but Nexa gives himself up checking the doors, and now Almanac has to oh, get away. Dude. Oh my goodness. Is he actually behind them again? There's no way I thought he was going to get out. There's no way they lead that gap twice. The fact that Nexa went down, let it all be too easy as Nico now has to basically retake. Despite the, the bomb. Oh my goodness. What a shot. Is not down. The fact that he just took down Nico that quickly before the smoke was... Hunter turning up. He's teammates in support system. Hunter turning the corner. No one spotted Yabby just yet. Needs to be a trade. Jax doesn't react in time. It's Nico. Left in a 1v1. He knows exactly where Zyphon is. Oh and there God. it is. Four kills for Nico. And that's a seventh round for G2. Four kills for Nico. And he makes up for the fact that they again find an entrance. Roy's going to push up. He has been bold throughout this half. It's paid off. That's an awkward fight for him. Hunter gets the gush, but somehow he's traded. Plenty of players there in the boost up. They're going to come right through. They know there's so many players flanking so quick. They get aggressive. Now they're going to bail out to the A-bomb site. Except the bomb is down. Shot out. Roy's got Jax out of this round. Nico. The one that's gone, Zyphon. Trying to make his position known to support Roy as a smoke that covers off Cave. Doesn't cover the other CT, but Nico pushing up behind, wrapping around. It's an easy kill at that point. It's pressure than they've had in most situations right now in this game. G2 is definitely making them a little bit uncomfortable. Keep in mind, too, a little bit more context for this. Beginning of October, these two teams didn't oh. play each other. It was an overtime victory for Copenhagen Flames on Nuke. So G2 looking for a bit of revenge here. Almanac's going to lead the way up with that Galil. They know where Zyphon is. Good damage dealt, but not the kill completed until just now. Nika does. Swings out. Nico's going to keep him pinned in. But they're losing a lot of players. Come on. Just peek one more time. Nico just desperately wants that headshot. But look who's behind them again. This guy. Roy, Roy. My goodness. Gets another one on the backside. And Nexa, and by going around the corner, the CZ finds Nico. Man, he is... The a side, that's tunnels that we were looking out of, trying to spot Yabby that's inside of the totem position. And now Hooksy will come back. Oh, man, a great shot on the Deagle. We've seen a few of them so far this game, but Nico Daz holds his nerve. Yabby's still there to be just as annoying for Jax. Who's the last remaining, low HP, goes down. Neither, so despite the G2 has both pistols in this game, they have not gotten the economic benefit of doing so. As Hunter. Spraying away. Zyphon took two dinks, I think, before he dropped. And Jax also seems to have taken some wear. These helmets are coming up. I'm not sure. Worse for wear or worth for wear because they both stay alive on those early dinks from the pistols. And that'll Knowing that his teammates have got all the attention, he's going to have an easy flank down the B ramp. Round 20. Back to a three-round lead for Copenhagen Flames. 11 to 8 on the CT side of Ancient. Opportunity. Nico Daz and, ja and Yabby, excuse me. But they're looking for this peak. Good first kill, the follow-up. Now he wants to protect the AWP. Knows Nikodaza is going to come into him, but can't handle it either way. Not bad to just take one more weapon out of their hands and 
I don't think G2 has any reason. Before the bomb goes down to make things a little bit better in the post plant, because they were down two. Now it's only a one-man loss, and he's got a chance here. Shadow shows. Shadow shows, and he makes no mistake as his little toes hooks. He comes around the corner, but Siphon managing to get him back. will still keep this close, make this possible. There's a kit in play. Siphon has it picked up. He's the one that's holding on to it. Meanwhile, Yabby is not going to be able to spot Amanek. That little nook on the ramp is enough for him to stay very close, get a quick peek with the AK, and, oh, he's ready for it, though. They've read it. They know that he has to be holding from somewhere, but he swings wide. zyphon has got the shot instead. They didn't spot Amanek. They didn't see him. He peeked after. In fact, the reload and the retake was in position, so they couldn't actually hold the angle. Bomb will go off. Five. About half HP as he backs off. Alone at the B bomb site, the rest of his team heading towards A. The bomb is dropped way far back, so if they ever got the kills or needed to go back for the bomb, it would have delayed things just a little bit. Thankfully, all the fight distance. Oh, no, he's going to... Don't do it. This is like that horror movie. The person in the movie, they're like, don't, don't go there. Don't open the door. Don't go into the basement. I take position A stream update just for you, Jason. Uh, FaZe has already beaten Evil Geniuses 16 to 6. So a uh, lovely start for them to continue on. Again, another challenger team that has already warmed up into this event. Getting the victory. Nice. Yabby had no idea his head was poking up. Roy blinded twice. It has to allow safety for the plant. And I don't, ooh, they're gonna go for this. They are close enough. Roy wants to just see if he can find a kill. I don't know if they want to commit to this retake. They've got no kits. They've got one smoke for the bomb, so they better be perfect. Well, Jax already has Roy when he swings. Nice shot from Zyphon as he gets back into position. AWP needs to watch Donut, needs to get wider, but there's aware, they're aware of a problem. And I think they're gonna back off this 16 seconds. They know they can't get directly in the site and look who's waiting for the exits. They've got to clear this or they're going to lose their weapons. And down they both go. Nico, your teammate died in front. He did do damage onto Nico when he pushed through either way. We'll get that clarified at some point. Yeah, it's, just, it's cool to actually add that into a hut. That's not something we've seen before. I like, I like that they're trying different things like that. Nexa, take down Zyphon. Jax resets his aim to make sure he doesn't make any mistakes on Yabby. And uh, five versus one. G2. I look, I have to say, this is a team that's been red hot. Copenhagen Flames, 3-0. and We've set it. Zero and zero. The opening round done. And uh, we'll reset them for this afternoon. Hunter, good shot. Takes down Siphon Roy. He gets one back. And that means Nico Dash can try and do the same. But Nico, Nico, Nico. Man, that flash did a number of things inside of the site, did it not? It blinded up everyone, including two of his teammates, but got him one assist. He knows he has, and that he guarantees to at least try and get trades, because if he's too slow getting into Donut, okay, he's going now, because the smoke's gone down. He might not be able to get this. Smoke's out. Oh, Nico did get there just in time, and they both sprayed into the smoke. Trollis are we going to get that we had, you know, last week as well? Listen, everyone panicked when they started slow on day one. I think everyone's forgotten about Astralis and how they build into these events. That's a nice opening kill from Hunter, especially a round like this. Great damage as well on Anikadaz, and man, Copenhagen. So Copenhagen Flames look to be extinguished, finally. Uh, puts a Molotov G2 inside of that total position, inside of Pillars, trying to hold it off, and Yabby gets one kill back, but it's Hunter and Nexa. And Roy on 19 HP. Outside of the site, Zyphon trying to come back around and help him out. Hey, that's me, bud. I'm here. You don't have to worry about someone behind you. Unfortunately, they do have to worry about going for this round. There's no save. This is it. This is the map. This is the match. And this could be G2 starting off 1-0 and in our Legend stage, as Hunter will make that more likely. Roy just waiting to go down. Hunter gets both kills. Good start. Welcome to the Major G2. Yeah, it, I'm, look, it's it's great for this team with all the struggles and, and all everything heading into this event. They get out to a good start, one to nothing, because that would have been a little bit tough. Um,